This movie really did try something new. It's just a shame that whilst they brought something new to the table, they didn't quite do enough with it in my opinion. Very quickly, if you enjoy the cut of my jib, consider hitting subscribe. Not only will it keep you up to date with the latest movies I review, but you're going to make my day. But that being said, let's get on with this one. The Reading. Not The Reading. That would have been a whole other movie. So The Reading is kind of two movies brought into one. You've got the kind of paranormal medium movie, but at the same time, you've got the home invasion movie. And this movie kicks off with the home invasion. When this movie opens, we are watching an attack go down on Emma's family. And then we cut to a year later. Emma survived the attack. Now she's on a talk show, she's released a book, and she's talking about her harrowing experience having gone through this. It looked fucking awful. That little nugget's just enough for you to understand Emma as a character, because we'll come back to her in a minute. Then we jump over to Sky and her friends. There's a few of them, I'm not going to name them all, so we're just going to focus on Sky. Sky does have the ability to talk to the dead. At first, I genuinely wrote down that this group are scamming people. When we first see Sky doing her thing and talking to the dead, her group behind her keep doing shifty eyes, so I honestly honestly thought that this group were just scamming people out of money. You know, doing the old cold reading and just pretending to talk to the dead, because it does seem a little bit sus. Then I immediately wrote underneath it, maybe not, it's real, because it's clearly real. Like, we get a few visuals here that indicate that she really is talking to the dead, and she has that connection to the spirit world. That is one of those things that this movie does bring to the table, but they don't play enough with it, in my opinion. Sky is doing this to get extra cash to help the household out, like the good kid that she is. But the mom is focusing more that Sky does well at school and just does not worry about the finances. She doesn't want that for her. So Sky's kind of torn. She has to continue to do this to get money for her house because Whatever her mum says, she still wants to help. But at the same time, she's kind of getting done with being a medium because something is reaching out to her just a little bit too close. She was fine until now to talk to the dead, apparently, but suddenly now she's getting right freaked out. And this is where the two groups come together. Emma has a new book coming out and Ashley is like her agent. She has organised that Sky and her group come and do one of the readings for her so that that can help in promoting her book. They offer quite a tidy sum of cash, so Sky and her friends get together. Really, Sky just wants out the gaming completely. But one of her friends is really pushing that she still does it because it's $20,000. So they're getting like five each. It's a fair amount of money, more than what they're used to. So Sky reluctantly accepts. Now Ashley set this up for Emma because they're skeptical. They're the ones that don't believe that this is really a thing. She thought it was just going to be good PR, a little bit of a video, freak Emma out and just pretend that'll get the book sales going. Turns out Sky can really do this. They had no fucking idea she could really do this. And some truths start to come out through the spirit world, shall we say. Things that Emma didn't want to come to light. Now the reading scene itself is very tense. Like this movie, it's not quite horror. I don't quite know how you would peg this movie. Seeing thriller just doesn't quite do it justice. I would say more suspense than thrilling. Because suspense all the build-up is there in the first half of this movie, and definitely during that reading scene, because you don't know what Sky is going to say next. She's quite clearly embodying quite a few different spirits here, the spirits of Emma's family. So the reading starts off very tense. What we learn is that Ashley had actually told Sky a few nuggets of information to use. You know, like Emma's kid's favourite colour, just the usual little things like that. I say usual, like this is an everyday thing, but you know what I mean. The minor things. Emma wasn't aware that Ashley had told her these things. Emma starts getting a little bit freaked out when this is going on. They cut to break and Ashley reveals she told her the nuggets of information. Emma's not too happy, but she comes back and resumes the reading on the basis Sky can't talk to the dead and she's just cold reading her and using what she's learned so far. You know, they chalk it up to her and her group. They do this all the time, so they're going to know what they're looking out for. You know, she's released a book, she's kind of in the public eye so they could find out more detail. As Sky continues, she really starts getting some information that she should not know. She starts quoting text messages and conversations that are had. She is like embodying the people that are coming through to her now. And this is where the movie takes a turn. I won't say how or why, but it gets a little bit home invasion-y. And that home invasion angle was a swift right turn in this movie. I thoroughly enjoyed the way they set it up though. I personally didn't see it unfolding the way it did. And the movie does a lot of things right. In any home invasion style movie you've seen, how many characters do you know that aren't conscious of the noise that they're making? They'll stamp about, they'll pick up and drop items, and they don't pay reference to the fact that they just made a shit ton of noise. Whereas here, Sky and her friends, they all seem super conscious of what they're doing and their actions 
at all times. Even little things like leaving a door open that used to be closed, they call that out in this movie, and that was fucking great to see. Now I've given you that massive positive, the thing I felt like they could have done more with was the supernatural and Sky actually having the ability to talk to the dead. With that ability, they use it as a lot of setup, which is fantastic setup, but then they kind of just don't come back to it. I feel like Sky's ability to speak with the dead could have been utilised a little bit more in here. You know, whilst the rest of the movie's playing out. I won't go into the specifics, but I could see a few different scenarios and maybe a few scenes that they could have thrown in here where people are still speaking through Sky. They use that ability as just the setup to the movie, which is a real damn shame. Because the idea that they really do have the ability and the people they're talking to are sceptical, that was interesting. And what unraveled was definitely more interesting. But you see a lot of these reading movies and they all get very samey. They get very boring after a while. Unless you're doing something very against the grain, like the others is always a standout example. Whereas the reading feels somewhere kind of caught in the middle between modern medium movies that are all quite the same and the others. One that has quite a unique twist and one that develops continually throughout the movie. It just couldn't quite carve out a good chunk for itself. And as for the cast in here, I thought they all done a really good job. You know, the group that Sky comes with, they're all very good in the roles, but all I'll say is they're in the movie for varying amounts of time. No spoilers, that's all I'm gonna say. Sky though is very good in this role, and Emma was fantastic as playing the victim and just Man, it's really difficult to not spoil movies sometimes. Emma was great, that's all I'm gonna say. So with all that being said, where would I be putting the reading? If you like a medium movie, it's not quite horror, but just a lot of suspense in it, make time for the reading. It tries to break new ground, but it doesn't crack all the way through the ice, if that makes sense. You've got a movie that kind of subverts the psychic tropes, it definitely wants to move in its own area. The characters are all very well realised. It is a pretty solid story and all of its reveals come naturally in the movie. And it doesn't do a lot of jump scares or horror like that. Instead, it is suspense. Like they are building it in moments throughout this movie. Now it's not like it's suspense from the start to the end, but more on the micro suspense. Like you get it moving scene to scene and in different scenarios. Credit there. Like, I was genuinely not sure what was going to happen at the end of a lot of different scenes. And it gives you one of those ambiguous endings where you can make your own mind up as to what exactly happened. I've got my own take, I'm not going to say it here, but we'll leave it at that. So with everything now being said, have you seen the reading? If you have, let me know if we agree or disagree. What did you think of the end? Mark it spoilers, but let me know. And if you made it this far and you haven't yet, consider hitting subscribe. You're going to keep up to date and you're going to make my day. But with everything now being covered, as always, thank you so much for watching.